student welcome to the online lecture series of basics of automotive system my name is bhagyadeep kalal from lg institute of engineering and technology today we will discuss the different types of frame and what about the frame the function of the frame and uh, various different uh, types of body and uh, function of the body in our this topic so let me start the topic number 3 that is the chassis frame and body okay this is topic 3 is comes under the chapter 1 and we already discussed in previous lecture there are different types of chassis and what is the function of the function of the chassis okay so next we discuss about the body's frame and its function what type of material used what is the cross sectional area of the frame and uh, what is types of the frame okay let us we go to start frame okay this is the uh, uh, diagram of the frame in this slide okay frame is nothing but it is the uh, part of the main part of the chassis body okay frame is a uh, very different from the chassis but uh, some people are generally understand that frame and chassis are the same part but in technically frame is a different thing and chassis are a different thing okay in next slide we will discuss about what is the difference between frame and chassis so first of all that what, what is the frame frame is nothing but it is a part of the chassis and in, on which different mechanical component are mounted different from the chassis okay in the chassis on in, in chassis the main component are like a, a gear box okay and the propeller shaft wheel suspension system brakes tire all the component which are responsible to propel the vehicle that comes under the chassis but either remaining component okay which are mounted on the frame that means frame is support to the all other components so let me start the frame is the main structure of a chassis of motor vehicle all other component fastened or mounted to it okay so what is the function of the frame frame uh, is function of the frame is first of all that it uh, deals with the various types of static and dynamic load acting on on that frame and it bears the resistive uh, resistive force acting on frame okay so uh, it reduces the deflection and deflection or distortion of the frame okay and next function to support the all vehicles mechanical component of body okay so the what is the frame let me understand So let me understand this is the our body of the vehicle and this is the our frame okay this body is mounted on this frame and all the components like body and other components which support on this frame then it is called then it is called frame okay this is the our frame what is types of frame types of frame is generally first what is a ladder frame and another is a cross frame next one is a backbone frame and another is a uni frame or we can say uni body frame and other one is a perimeter frame and other is a <coughs> sub frame and next one is a tubular frame these are the frame okay so first one is a ladder frame second is a unibody frame backbone frame and cross frame or x frame and platform frame sixth one is a space or tubular frame and seventh is a our sub frame and final one more remaining frame is a perimeter frame these are the types of frame we will discuss in a next slide in brief okay so let me start the main question that is the difference between uh, chassis and frame the first of all that uh, meaning or definition of chassis a uh, chassis is a skeleton framework of the vehicle on which most of the mechanical parts like tire axle assemblies steering brakes and the engine are fastened and in frame a vehicle frame on the other hand on the other hand in vehicle frame is main structure of the chassis 
all the other component including the chassis are passed into the frame okay so let me understand what is the meaning of the first definition chassis is nothing but is it is a main structure of the vehicle on which the main component like gearbox engine and uh, propeller shaft steering mechanism suspension system and tires all the component which are responsible to vehicle motion that is called a chassis in others other hand what is a frame frame is a uh, remaining uh, parts except this a uh, brake uh, assemblies steering and uh, gearbox engine that part which support all other parts is known as a frame next is design point of view what is the difference between de according to design point of view a chassis is designed as minimum requirement for any vehicle to move that means those component which are responsible to motion of the vehicle or vehicle movement that is comes under the chassis according to that chassis will be designed but frame 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 design of frame is according to other remaining parts which are responsible to bear the load then it is called frame okay so which component are mounted on that uh, chassis the other component excluding tire axle assemblies steering brakes and engines are fitted on the chassis but other remaining component like body Okay, your other component body, seat, seat assemblies, all the things are mounted on the frame. That is the main difference between chassis and frame. Okay, let's move on the next topic that is the frame section. Okay, what are the frame sections? Okay, generally the frame section are made up of this steel and generally we use three types of frame section. One is the our channel sections. This is these are the our channel sections. Okay, this, these are the channel sections and one is a box type these are the box type section and third one is a tubular type sections okay third one is a tubular type sections these three sections are used for frame sections this one is our channel section and these are the our box type and this is our our tubular type Okay, so uh, what is the uh, main things that where we use the channel type, box type, and tubular? When long distance or long uh, vehicles distance is required, that times channel section are used. Where is box for short distance? Short distance for use of box type. And uh, where is tubular? Tubular is used for the uh, various types of different sizes like medium and medium sizes, medium length of the size. Where use a tubular type cross section. How it is like this? This one is our box type cross sections, and this one are the our tubular type cross section. What is cross section? When you cut the structural frame at one section, that that section is like a your. This one is our. This one is our box type. This one our our tubular type cross section, and these these are the our channel type section. They are the three main type of sections. The frame are made of the following steel sections like channel, box, and tubulars. So these are the channel type, these are the box type and these are the tubular type sections. So this is a very important question asked again and again in the exam. Let's remember three types of the sections. So channel section is used for long member frame. Okay, your long member frame. Just remember this word. The channel section is used for long member and box type is used for our short member type frame. And tubular section is used in nowadays for three wheelers, scooter, metador and pickup. This type of sections are used in tubular sections okay your two wheelers are also comes under the tubular sections are used okay so channel section is good in bending okay channel sections are good in bending where long uh, long members are used where bending stresses are comes on that section that time channel sections are used and what is tubulars why tubulars is used tubular is uh, used to resist torsional and Torsional and box box type of uh, section is used in bending and torsional. So, what is the type of stresses comes on the that frame or section? Let me understand. This is the frame, or we can say sometimes it uh, say that chassis. So, what is the uh, bending stress comes on this chassis when this vehicle is hitting on side by side or either on the front side? This, this this frame is bent like this. Then it is called bending stress. To resist this type of stress, we use the channel sections okay next is tubular type so a uh, tubular type is uh, used to uh, resist the torsional or twisting stress how it come when uh, vehicles hitting like on side on side member that time this frame is 
twisting like this. Okay, this frame is twisting like this. That resist uh, this type of stress is resisted by torsional strength. Okay, so we use a uh, tubular sections and what is box type? Box type is box type section used for to resist bending as well as torsional stresses. This is our the frame section. Okay, I hope you understand all the things. Next is various load acting on the frame. Okay, generally six to seven types of load acting on the frame. That is a short duration load. Okay, what is short duration load? While crossing the broken page, or we can say your road like uneven road surface, like this is like concrete surfaces. Okay, sometimes it like a, a jump or speed breaker. That time this is the broken surface, or we can say this is not normal surface. It's a different surface. Okay, some different surface are comes on the road uh, rather than like a smooth surface. That time broken page are due to broken page. That is a short duration load are arises. Okay, next momentary duration load. Momentary duration load is nothing but while taking a curve. When you are taking the curve of turning, then side thrust are comes on the vehicle and that uh, bear by the frame. So that's why we uh, design a we design a frame according to which can bear the momentary duration load. When it comes when you are taking a turn, then side thrust on vehicles like a cornering force on that vehicle. So we can bear that momentary duration load. Next is impact load. Impact load is nothing but when you suddenly applied a, a heating, when you suddenly heat or collision with the, some other things, that time uh, that uh, stresses comes on the, over your frame that can bear by that frame is known as an impact load. That is comes due to the accident or collision with the other things or other components due to collision of the vehicle. Next is Inertia load. Inertia load is nothing but it comes due to uh, braking or uh, braking or acceleration. What happened in this? The when you are suddenly applied a brake, the whole weight or total mass or weight of the body comes from the front side. But that means a center of gravity of the body will change or vehicle will change and it come on the front side. So to bear this type of inertia load, we uh, we uh, design a frame according to this. Uh, load, loading condition and when you applied acceleration when you when you start the vehicle and suddenly you make a more and more accelerator and then the total weight of the body is goes on the behind or rear rear side that means cg is changed and goes on the back side of the vehicle that time what happened so this of the uh, changing the cg while braking or while accelerating so we use the some uh, front uh, overhang body or for uh, rear overhang frame okay so static load what is static load this type of load comes due to the uh, total weight of the body weight of the chassis axle suspension gearbox or uh, uh, engine the that is called a static load okay load due to the chassis parts and next is a overload what is overload overload is due to the uh, main due to the load uh, process its limit okay so what, what happened when you design a bike for a 2000 kg and for a two candidates can sit easily on the two wheelers so if what happened if you uh, drive a vehicle with the three person that means your weight for that limit of the two wheeler is over okay it's beyond the certain limits that's why you need to take a factor of safety to prevent that overloading condition so if you design for the two pupils two pupils for bike that time you need to take a factor of safety so you can save when the people can uh, save the three candidates or three pupils on bike this is the beyond the design capacity